just because you fell asleep in the middle and they didn't want to finish it without you. When you find that someone, I mean, that's when you know you're home. You get it. Thanks for listening, mate. Sorry. Do you want some tea? Well, we do. Oh? I think I was, uh... Just have a little joke here with old Frederick. Oh, yeah. He's a good listener. Is the oven broken? No, it, well, it's just these bloody power surges. I mean, it, no, it's always been a bit dodged, but I swear, it is worse since your cousin turned up. What is it? Aaron thought. You don't think that maybe he's into, like, chewing wires and stuff? If it was anybody else, I'd say no. But as it's Herschel, um, I probably should tell him. On a slightly less depressing note, should we come up with a plan of action for today? I reckon maybe season five Better Call Saul. Who? Or maybe second season Ali McBeal. Sing it. Or we just go the whole hog, baby girl, and watch Suits from the beginning, what you're seeing. Ooh, ooh. I thought you had to work today. Uh, yeah, I need to talk about that, actually. OK. I got removed from my position. Oh, again. It's just Albert, man. He goes on about his wife, which, by the way, he doesn't have anymore. And apparently there's some squirrel coming into his room. I mean, I've just got no patience for liars, mate. They are bottom of the barrel for me. Yeah, it's fair. Albert. Yeah. Dementia Albert. Yeah. Right. We need to get your mind off of this unexpected career liberation and get down to watching some right royal justice get served <laughs> on yeah. Judge Judy. Oh, I like it. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, sounds good. Only thing, no Herschel, though, because he was sitting next to me yesterday and he just smells of something and he mutters under his breath, so I just... He's American. This is how they are, I think. All rise. Oh. <laughs> That's a number one on being a completely normal human being. You don't need to shake your roommate's hands in the morning unless you're at their uncle's funeral or oh. something, OK? Oh, OK. Yeah. I, I have never been to a funeral. I would love to experience that sometime. Uh, roommate Neil, it sounded like you had an uninterrupted sleep last night. Well done. Thanks. Um, mm, and Cousin Gerald, clarify. What exactly is the purpose of a jumper? Oh, it's to wear for warmth. Um, you'd call it a sweater, I guess. Oh. Hmm. You both should avoid your rooms until I rectify my confusion. <laughs> mm. Stop. Lesson number two, um, don't do that. In any of it. Okay. 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 Who? Okay. Okay. Neil, fun query for you. Uh, Where were you on the night of June 6, year 2019? Don't know why. I am the one asking questions! <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I would love to cross-examine you later today. Tomorrow at the latest. Listen, Herschel, I would... Absolutely love to answer your unique questions, but we're we're busy, aren't we? So maybe you could nip out, go see a one-woman show. You'd like it. No. My mom told me specifically not to let you leave me out. I am here to experience culture, and if you won't teach me, I will find another temporary roommate who will. Neil. Oh. Oh my gosh, sorry. Do you have another longer name that you prefer to use in formal situations? Neilium. Mm. Neilium. Mm. 
Do you happen to have any temporary friends to study? Oh, you mean someone to help you study? No, like someone I can live with so I can find out what it's like living here, you know, like you do with Gerald. Uh, uh, mate. I'm okay. It's okay. I'm okay. I didn't mean... Oh, someone grab a grinder because those beans are roasted. I mean, I'm at my wit's end with this guy as well, but scolding him's a bit harsh, isn't it? All right, don't... Do you... I just, to be fair, I thought he'd put enough milk in to cool it off. I... My fault. Uh, I'm, I am getting a better look at this. Can, can one of you take a look at it? Hello? Are you trying to get us killed? Wow. No, did I get your beacon wet, Herschel? No, I was so worried you'd be stranded here forever, Herschel. No, how is your penis feeling, Herschel? Oh, I didn't know I actually got your penis. Mm. Those are important here, so yes, I'm sorry. I didn't get your ring wet, did I? You are lucky it's not even slightly moist. Why did you do it, Gerald? Why did you risk stranding me here forever? By creating a sequence of events leading to me being doused in hot liquid. It's nuanced. I don't know what that word means. So I'll ask you again. Why did you do it, Gerald? <gasps> because... I can't have Neil find out who I am, and I can't have him find out about Neil, so I can't have you talk to each other lest you find out about each other. Do you have... feelings for the human? Yes. <sighs> Only in a way you'd have feelings for a pet, of course. Pet? Pet. 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 Nilium. How long have you lived with Nilium? The limit is a year. I know that. That's a rule. I made that rule. I know that. I knew that. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. Whatever you're doing, just stop it, OK? Just keep your hands to yourself, keep your mouth shut, and stay away from Neil. Could you open it? Uh, no. Oh. Um, hmm. No further questions. Okay. Oh. Oh. I almost forgot. Yeah. Uh, Frederick is dead. And by dead, I mean he is in multiple pieces. I I'll keep the leftovers safe until you're ready. No blood, 
No weapon, no fingerprints. Hmm. I think we're done here. What do you mean? Well, I, mean, I like a crime scene investigation as much as the next man, but, um... I mean, there's nothing more we can do for Frederick, and... Maybe we should just relax, watch some TV. Sorry, but I don't think if you'd been murdered, you'd want me to relax and watch some TV, my friend. What? Herschel murdered Frederick. And I need to get to the bloody bottom of it. Unless there's something you'll keep him from me. Something you're not telling me, Jerry. What? Do you want to tell me something? Why are you being so suspicious? Do you want to tell me the truth? Why, why would you, know you ask me about that? Why are you being suspicious? Jerry, why are you being tell suspicious? Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. It's just a fish! I can't believe you just said that. What is going on? Nothing. You'd have never said that about Frederick before. What happened? Hey, did you guys get into a fight? No. No! No! I just want you to stop banging on about a bloody fish and drop it! Welcome. This was supposed to be a funeral, but I have misplaced the corpse. And I've recently learned that when that happens, they call it a memorial. <laughs> oh. Oh, I know. I know. I know, I know. Oh. Uh, Why would you kill Neil's fish, Herschel? I didn't do it on purpose. If I did it on purpose, you would know. I... It's confusing. The word pet is confusing. You can't pet a fish. Why would you call it a pet? Earth is going to make my brain explode. Okay. I know it's a bit confusing here, okay? But we've talked about this. You need to keep a low profile, otherwise we're both in huge trouble. Both? I am not the one who has stayed here longer than they're allowed time. Okay, maybe not, but... Oh, oh, so you do admit it. You've been here longer than a year. Do, but just... We're also not supposed to let the humans know that we're not human. And you, you stick out like a Feluvian in the Zampton sector. Ah. Okay. Well. You like him. You like 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 him. Yes. You like like more than a pet. Like a, ew, ew. Like a friend. You'd be willing to get fired for that. No, I haven't, I haven't thought about that at all. Oh, I don't need to hug you to know that you're lying. You've thought about it. You've thought about it a lot. Also, while I know that you were lying, where is Ali McBeal? I thought you saw her every day. That's what you wrote in your reports. Yeah, yeah, well, um, I used to, but um, I'm actually more working with Harvey Specter these days, so. <laughs> <laughs> Did you lie about Ali McBeal? Yes! <laughs> I can't believe you! Everyone at home thinks that you're... No, wow. Wow, you are disgusting. You're more disgusting than a human. <laughs> They're not that bad. Yes, they are. They are vile. I mean, the whole stopping in the middle of the sidewalk thing alone makes me want to expirate the planet. You just, you just have to give them some time, all right? I know they can be annoying. I know there are loads of things they hear that are weird. They still have wars amongst themselves. Only half their adult population can actually bear offspring, but you know what? If you just spent a little time here, you come to realize that the point here is to focus on the things you do like and ignore the things you don't. That's what it means to be human. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So, so we're good. Um. Herschel, mm -hmm. do you know who that is? Mm -hmm. You called her. It's. It's nuanced. No. No, it's not. It's not nuanced. It's perfect. Perfect. It's perfect. She's gonna come here and she's gonna take our rings and she's going to banish us here forever. She's gonna kill me. Well, that doesn't bother me that much. So... It's not about you! Pamela! Welcome! Was that a baby? That wasn't a baby. That's not a baby. It looks a lot like a baby. I mean, I mean you know, you're right. It is a baby. It's, it's just, just not just ours. Stop lying. I'm to not me. like. Just listen. Let's just calm down for a second, okay? And come into the moment. Hi, I'm Jerry. Hi. What are we doing in the toilet? I want to ask you something. Can I have a hug, please? No, I'm not really a hugger. But I need one to do this. Fine. Ask me who I am. Who are you? I am, for want of a galactically correct term, an alien. What, why have you got to make a bigger lie and just tell me the truth? I'm not lying. I, I, I am physiologically incapable of lying when I'm being hugged. That is insane. Just stop it. It's, would you just trust me for once, I, I please? Don't think I can, mate. As hard as it's going to be. I'd rather grieve Frederick on my own than live with someone who can't tell the truth. Would you just come to the trial? What trial? Ever since Gerald started sending courtroom television instead of weekly reports, our planet has become obsessed with yours. I mean, clearly. Look at her. We can't wait to find out what happens next. This is not happening. Aren't you excited? I'm excited. Well, other than maybe being banished from Earth forever, I know you're not excited. You should consider yourself lucky. They used to castrate before the execution. Wait, what? Your Honor. I have reason to believe Gerald has been living with Anelium the human for longer than his allotted year. Also, he almost got my beacon wet, stranding me here forever. I am lucky, by the way. It's still... Jerry. Works. Pamela. It's disgusting back there. Everything's changed. Another Starbucks. Thrysley. Gerald and Neelium have become <laughs> friends. Objection! We're not friends. Sustained. Your Honor, I shall ask Neil these upcoming questions. He cannot lie. He told me so. He talks about it all the time. He destroyed the life of an old demented man for lying. Neil. Neilium. Neilium. If it is true that you two are not friends, that means that you would be okay if Gerald were banished from Earth forever and subsequently whipped, bothered, and bewildered throughout the universe in perpetuity. Yes. What? Don't worry. I got this handled now. But don't you trust each other through thick and thin? No. Don't you pause the film if he falls asleep in case he misses the ending? No. But you've lived with him for longer than a year. No, it's only been a couple of months, I think. What? No, Pamela, he's lying. No, he's not. Uh, uh, move to approach the bench. Pamela, as you can see, there has been a horrible misunderstanding. I recommend you return to home as soon as possible. Um, don't worry, I'll get back up to date with the weekly reports and... Uh, oh, Anna McPeel's on vacation. 
That's why she's not here. Question. Can you sing it? Suits from the beginning. Oh my God. 